Hi, I'm Mr. Corey, and welcome to another Monday Fun Day program at the Suffolk Public Library. This week, we are having illustrator Sarah Glazer as our community partner. She is going to show you how to draw Bosley the Beach Cat from a book that she's illustrated. Um, and there will be a craft included that you guys can do and follow along at home. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hello, my name is Sarah Glaser, and today I am going to show y'all how to draw a cat. So growing up, I enjoyed watching cartoons, and sometimes I would try and mimic what I saw on TV on paper. And that's how I learned to love drawing. And um, as I got older, I started reading comic books. And um, that further influenced my love for drawing and creating art and a visual storytelling. Um, I also had a lot of encouragement from some teachers, all of my art teachers growing up, um, and even my professors going into college. Yep. So Bossy the Beach Cat was a book I created with Tamara Hoffman Ship. Um, she's a local author. I met her um, because I had done some artwork for her before. I drew a few of her book covers about the Outer Banks. Um, this book, Bazoo the Beach Cat, also takes place in the Outer Banks. So Tamara and I worked together uh, to, like she did the script, she did all the writing, every page, all the words, um, and she enlisted me to do the illustrations. And um, she would send me some words, I would draw some pictures, um, and then we would share our work and make sure we were both on the same page figuratively and literally. So how I drew Bosley the beach cat was actually on the computer. Although today we're doing it um, with pens and pencils. Um, I drew Bosley in a program called Photoshop um, where I used colors and layers to create each of the characters, the background, and and so forth of each page. The whole thing took about three months, um, but once it was put together, uh, me and Tamara we're able to sub-publish it ourselves, which is one of the cool things about it. So today we're going to use a few materials. Um, I have with me uh, some regular pencils, uh, colored pencils, and I also have markers. So to start our drawing of a cat, I am first going to draw a sketch with a pencil. So, um, I will first draw a circle for the head. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle. And for the ears, they are triangles. So I will lay those down next. When you look at cats' faces, they kind of have a muzzle that sticks out a little bit. So I'm going to add a smaller circle on top of a larger circle. show where his nose will be. All right, those are the basic shapes for the head. And now I move on to the body. Bosley's body is kind of smaller than his head. He has a big head, that's okay. Um, but it is an oval shape. So I will draw that now. And now I will add the legs. And for the paws and feet, we'll just put circles here for now. And last but not least, you want to map out where Bosley's tail is going to go. I usually like to do a little curve up in the air. And we have our sketch. So now we have a sketch, we can move on to a little bit more detail within our sketch. I'm going to go ahead and add two eyes on the circle of the face. Bonsley's eyes are kind of like half ovals. I'm going to add his nose, which will be on the oval that is his muzzle. And that usually looks like a little triangle, like Alright, and now we are going to add some lines. And for this I will switch to this black marker. 
the brush side of the black marker. I usually like to start with the head and the ears and go around the edges of the drawing. Bosley has a few whiskers on his sides, so that's how I put those in there. And if you notice, I'm following the shapes that I drew in my sketch. Not exactly, but close. Now I'll come up here and bring the circle around to his muzzle. His whiskers on the other side. Let's get his nose in there. Gonna hit its cheeks. freckles, we can put those in there. Alright, let's move to his eyes. He's got really big eyes. Let's do him looking up at us. I'll go in later when I add color to add his, his irises or the color of his eyes. So here's his second ear on the side. There's his head. All right, let's move to his body. Keep going here. For his back legs, I drew them a little thicker. Because um, cats have some muscles here that are different than their front legs. Let's add some lines to show where the claws would be. There we go. Draw his belly. And there's our outline. And now we are going to add the final touches to our drawing. And in this case, we are going to fill it with color. So I'm first going to color in his eyes, which are green. Bosley is a tuxedo cat, so we're going to do a dark gray for his fur. You notice as I color this in, it's covering up some of those sketch marks, which is good. So on his muzzle, closest to us in this image, um, he has some white fur, which kind of goes right around his cheek, like that. If you notice as I color, sometimes I'll leave a little white space to show where light is coming from. Or just show different layers. So right here where his whiskers are, I'm leaving a little space in between the marks to show that his body is behind the whiskers of his face. Go down to his legs here. He has white paws, so the dark fur ends like right here.
Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that video with our partner Sarah Glazer. Bye!